Alright, I'm going to show you how to install uh, your windshield on a Rhino windshield on a Rhino. Uh, this is the full with tilting windshield. This is our new uh, MAR resistant, uh, quarter inch double sided MAR resistant. It's our premium product. We just released this just barely. And uh, this is my little baby right here. And uh, I figured that I should have a MAR resistant windshield to see how it all works. So uh, I thought I'd show you how to install it. What I'm doing here to start with is I'm just peeling this plastic back just, just a little bit. Uh, just, just past those little uh, the, the holes to where the screws go in. Now, just to kind of help you on this, if you want to come over here and just kind of show them this, is I've already installed these brackets right here. Move these little plastic things out. You just unscrew the, you know, just do that with a Phillips head as it comes out. Grab a hold of that and it'll pop out. And then we supply you with the body bolt in this bracket. You want to set it on here uh, loose to begin with. Just put that on just loose. Put this on just loose. And then once we get it set, then you'll cinch them down tight. So that's, if you would, almost step number one. Set your windshield on there. Put your little bracket through there. And take, and we do make these kind of tight, so I'm not going to tell you that this is the simplest, easiest thing in the world. Uh, because we didn't design it to just be, we didn't design it to come on and off, we designed it to stay there, so. Um, so sometimes you have to feed your, your bolt, your nut down, or your bolt down through there a little bit. Now when you're tightening up, always, I always give a little bit of pressure, I'm just kind of keeping my hand there so I keep the fingerprints off of it and all that stuff. Don't want, Try not to leave DNA evidence and just in case somebody wants to check into my sordid past. <laughs> so we got that right there. And put that on. Don't don't stick it down real tight. Um, I'm gonna come over to this side. Okay, so then we come over to the other side, stick the bracket through, get our lock washer or not. I like to say it. Especially in these bottom ones, it's not, it takes sometimes a little bit. Oh, God, that bottom bracket is. Pause. Nope. Sometimes you just gotta kinda fight with it for a second. And then it all comes together. So you wanna make sure you're. You got it pushed down nice and tight to the body here. You see how that's conformed all the way around the body? And there's little teeny gaps here, but uh, so much more less than what uh, any of the competitor stuff I've ever seen. So uh, nice and snug in my world. And uh, then once we've got our bottom one on, then we go about, and like I say, once you get the bottom one on, the top one really isn't much of a thing. The bottom one's just a bit of a bugger because you're trying to get it all lined up and hooked together in a nice way. Again, we just want to snug this guy down like that. I'm going to go over here, put the other bracket on this side. Speaking of lights, guys, I have those lights on my website for I think it's $315 for a set. Those are the bomb. Uh, I love my, these are, these are floods, these are spots. So much better visibility. We do a lot of night riding. We like to, to do a, a bit of the night riding kind of a scenario. And uh, I've uh, jacked up my Rhino twice out in the boondocks in the middle of the night because I couldn't see far enough in front of me. And uh, so I found those lights. We have those. They're uh, they're military grade. They're they're fantastically made. Uh, made in America. Again, kind of what we try to go with everything. Same with this material right here. This is by Bear Company. It's Markalon quarter inch double sided Mar resistant. It's the best, man. And once you get this down tight this way, turn your Ranch on the inside. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that's a 7 16 So if you see this video before you go to get all ready, you can have your stuff ready. Phillips, 7 16 and we're gold. 
And what you just did is you just went back over all the, the nuts that you just tightened and now you're really cinching just them make, down. Just yeah, cinching there. them down. Now what we want to do, we're going to come and we're going to peel this guy off. Now we see, see this fits up nice and tight. My last one I had it clear to the top and I actually, I like a little air gap across the top to give some circulation. Um, just a tad across that top. I want it tight up to the top, but not overly tight. Now that we've got those done, now we're going to take, we're going to set it in our, our center support brackets. And again, we're just going to drop in our... And these ones, to be real honest, once you get to this point, your windshield's set and it's not going to move. So you don't need to sit and do one side and then the other side. You can kind of just go ahead and get this one cinched down nice and tight. And again, same thing. Tighten it by hand in the front, cinch it up in the back nice and tight. Just locks that up. Aluminum hinge so you don't have any problems with uh, any rusting or things of that nature. And the reason why you want those loose is so you can kind of wiggle to where you need them to fit. Get them set in place. And that guy is he's nice and snug in there, isn't he? But look, it's not designed to be moving. So we kind of make everything snug and tight. Because you know why I started making this windshield. When I went to go buy my Rhino, they had that factory one that has a little tilt out at the bottom. And I could not figure, and I'm a warm-blooded guy, so I could not figure out what in the world you do when it's in the middle of the summer. By that little vent, you got the heater going. You know, well, not your heater, but it's basically a heater. You know how it is. That motor in there cooking you, getting you all hot. It's 100 degrees outside. So when it's hot, she tilts down. When it's cool, raining, she tilts up. And that's the whole bonus. Now, once you see that everything's working good, and go ahead and now again again just to remind people if you do not have if you did not purchase the mark mar resistant quarter inch one which you will know if you did because you're going to be paying for it um it will not have this same protective cover on it it will have a clear protective cover on it but the same concept i want to peel that off after we get it all set show you how this straps up to begin with and you see, I had this custom, I have this custom top built. And then I have a stereo inside, and normally I have a center support bracket that comes down and hooks on the front of your windshield. But because of my stereo system and this hard top, I made a little metal plate. Bolted it on there, put a little rubber bracket on the front of it, so that when my windshield, oh, sorry, what? Sorry. When the windshield tilts up, is that it has a nice solid place to sit on. Give it center support. Um, again, just things to make it structurally sounder. Now when you go to strap it up, put the, so, smooth side facing you, clip on the top. Feed it through the clip. Hold that clip so it stays nice and snug right there. And cinch it on there. Again, smooth side facing me. Clip at the top. Pull it through. Like that. Cinch that around like that. And that guy's hooked on that side. And then we're going to do the exact same. You would do the exact same thing there on this side, obviously. Now, when you're going to go tilt it, now when you're going to go and you're towing it, or you want to use the half windshield. And just remember, folks, that our windshields are non warrantied if you do not, if you tow them in the up position. We do not warranty our windshields in the up position. I'll say that one more time. We do not warranty our windshields in the up position. So understand that. They're not designed to be towed that way. Most of the manufacturers out there on the market uh, actually do not, uh, voids are warranty if you, uh, if you utilize your, your windshield uh, in high winds and things like that. It'll just void the warranty completely. So, how we strap it down for towing. We're gonna put our one strap through the top just like that, smooth side facing us. We're gonna take our other side. So you slide that through, smooth side in, fuzzy side facing out. 
Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna pull that down a little bit. I'm not gonna over snug it right now. I'm gonna pull that down just like that. And then I'm gonna come over to this side. All right, now what you wanna do, see this, being that this is a quarter inch one, it's not, it may not pull down as far as a normal one will because it's got less of a flex to it. But you put it right there and you see how I did that is I just pushed that down to where it would hit the body if it touched the body and then I centered it over there and just stick it on there. Same on this guy. This guy, truthfully, lift that up, get it set right and that's basically all you gotta do because oh, the pressure from the windshield is gonna push that down. Now we can really cinch this guy down. Pull him down as snug as you can. Strap it around there. So again, just like we were talking about before, Velcroed across the back, Velcroed across the front so we've got double strength on that. And then, same thing, snatch that guy down nice and tight. Double Velcro him up. Now, got that all hooked. Now, what I'm saying here is if you'll understand is that I am not a wuss, I'm not the strongest guy in the world, but I'm pulling on that as hard as I can and it's not even lifting off. Designed to be ridden this way. Towed this way. So we designed it so that you can have the best of both worlds in the, in the full with the tilt windshield. It is my personal favorite. Uh, we sell a lot of the half windshields as a personal thing, it's not my favorite windshield, but some people really love them. I love this. Some people worry about dust with the full windshields. It's really dusty, tilt it down. If you don't have my windshield, well, unfortunately, you can't do that. But if you have my windshield, you can tilt it down when it gets insanely dusty, if that's the case. Another thing you can do, if you guys have rhinos, I will tell you, you can find this on my website as well. This dust guard is fantastic goes underneath your seat, goes along the back here, straps around here is a block against the tailgate. So this thing keeps out so much dust. What people talk about as wraparound dust is really dust, m more of it's really dust coming up from the underside of your, your UTV than it really is coming up from the, uh, coming circling around. So dust cars, I love this. Got it. But guys, that's basically how it works. So now, if you can see, that's a pretty solid windshield on there. Keep it nice and tight, keep it clean. And uh, that's it. Hope you buy it from me. Thanks, you guys.